Reports are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and Sporting will continue talks over a deal for Pedro Poro in the next couple of days. The latest offer from Spurs, a defender plus money, has been rejected by the Portuguese club. The Spurs women have just confirmed their second signing of the January transfer window, the latest signing being a midfielder from Arsenal, a Japan international. Reports are stating that Brentford want between £15 and £20 million for goalkeeper and Spurs target David Raya in the summer, and Bayern Munich are keeping an eye on Harry Kane. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going for all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with a report from the Daily Telegraph. They are stating that Brentford will ask for between £15 and £20 million for goalkeeper and Spurs target David Raya in the summer. They are also stating that Chelsea and Manchester United are also interested. Fabrizio Romano has stated that Spurs have a list of five to six goalkeepers that are options for the summer transfer window. On Wednesday morning, it was reported by the record in Portugal that Spurs have had a bid of 34 million euros plus bonuses rejected uh, from Sporting uh, for right back Pedro Poro. Sporting are demanding the 45 million euro release clause. Wednesday evening, Fabrizio Romano has stated that Spurs have just offered 35 million euros plus a Tottenham defender for Pedro Poro. Sporting have rejected this offer also. Spurs are still in talks with Sporting as the player wants the move to the Premier League. A report has just been published by the Daily Telegraph and they are stating that Bayern Munich are keeping an eye on Harry Kane's situation and it is expected they will make an offer for the England captain. It is also believed that Chairman Daniel Levy will demand at least £100 million from any Premier League club, but it will be a reduced fee if it is a European club. And those close to Harry Kane believe that it is important for the player to play in the Champions League next season. On Wednesday, it was confirmed by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club that the Spurs women have their second signing of the January transfer window. Midfielder Mana Iwabuchi has signed from Arsenal on loan until the end of the season. She said, I'm very excited to be here. She is a Japan international, having won 85 caps for her country, scoring 37 times. Lots of reports published in the media on Wednesday have stated that Thomas Tuchel wants the Tottenham Hotspur job and Maurizio Pochettino will also be in the frame if Antonio Conte leaves Spurs. And lastly, Emerson Royale has revealed that his girlfriend lifted doom of defeat by Arsenal at his birthday party with an unexpected pregnancy announcement. They are expecting their first child. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Now, this morning, we were told uh, by the record in Portugal that Spurs have submitted an official bid for Pedro Poro, 34 million euros. The release clause states 45 million euros. We are 11 million euros adrift. Uh, the reports also stated that Spurs will pay the money, but it wants to be, uh, they want it to be performance related and over a period of time. Uh, Fabrizio Romano this evening has stated that Spurs have now offered 35 million euros plus a Tottenham Hotspur defender. That defender at the moment is unknown. If I was to guess, I would probably go with uh, Tanganga, uh, Emerson Royale, uh, Matt Doherty possibly. We could have even offered defenders such as Sergio Reglon or Joe Roden, who, of course, are out on loan at the moment. But Sporting are having none of it. They want the €45 million Euro release clause paid. Um, they have made that perfectly clear. Um, talks are ongoing because Pedro Porro apparently wants to move to the Premier League and his dream is this move. This is a dream move for him to the Premier League to play for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, we clearly want the player. We are clearly interested in the player. Um, I'm hoping in the next 24, 48 hours, this deal gets done because, as I keep saying on this channel, uh, you know, one weakness 
you can tell a mile away. You know, anybody who don't even watch Tottenham, if they looked at this Tottenham Hotspur team, you can see a mile away that the problem is in the right wing back area. Pedro Poro is absolutely fantastic going forward. He chips in with lots of assists and goals as well. Uh, a lot of Sporting's attacking play uh, goes through him and I think he will be a good signing. And let's face it, um, you know, it will definitely be an upgrade on Emerson Royale, Matt Doherty, and uh, I can't even mention Jed Spence because we haven't seen enough of him uh, to even uh, judge Jed Spence on what he can do in the Premier League, Champions League and other competitions that we play in. Now, the David Raya won. Um, apparently, Brentford will want between 15 and £20 million. Pounds. I've absolutely no doubt that David Raya is worth that money. We certainly need to um, identify exactly who we are after. Uh, in terms of goalkeepers, Fabrizio Romano has stated that Spurs have a list of five to six goalkeepers. We keep hearing the same old names uh, again and again. Jordan Pickford keeps coming up as well. Uh, but this is definitely an area uh, that we do need to improve. Um, Hugo Lloris has been a fantastic servant to this football club, having signed from Leon back in 2012. Sadly, he hasn't won a trophy for Spurs. I would love to see him win one before he leaves. Uh, he's contract until 2024. Um, but... I feel that we need to change the goalkeeper in the summer uh, without any doubt now. Um, you know, he's been at fault for four goals um, so far this Premier League season. And, uh, you know, such important games, such important moments. And, uh, you know, you need to rely on your goalkeeper and you need to rely on your captain. And uh, I just feel that there is time for a change, goalkeeper and captain. Now, more stories about Harry Kane and Bayern Munich being linked. Um, now, of course, um, the report also states from the Daily Telegraph that, um, you know, people close to him feel that it is important for the player that he is playing in the Champions League. Of course it is. He is England captain. Um, he is about to become Tottenham's all-time record goal scorer. He will want to be playing in the Champions League for as long as possible during his career. Um, and, you know, let's face it, he has had a very good season so far. Um, so it is so important that we get Champions League football. Um, is it realistic? Is it possible? Anything's possible. Um, but you know, it's all what we do in this January transfer window. These next two weeks are absolutely vital to where we finish um, at the end of the season because, you know, dare I say it, we do not want to be playing in the Europa League and definitely not in the Europa Conference League. And, you know, Definitely not no European football. Um, you know, Champions League football, that Champions League music at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is so important. It's very important to the club as well because of the money it generates. Now, all of the rumours about Thomas Tuchel and Pochettino possibly coming back if Antonio Conte leaves. Uh, to be honest, um, I've said all along, uh, you know, ever since Pochettino was sacked by Spurs, I've always hoped that he would come back one day. Uh, but I don't feel the time is right. I do not feel the time is right whatsoever. If I had my way and, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think Antonio Conte needs his time. He needs to be backed fully. And uh, I believe that we will be successful with Antonio Conte if we give him the tools and he is allowed to continue in his job. Um, the Thomas Tuchel links, I just find it incredible how many ex-Chelsea managers that we have had at our club. Um, and if I had the choice, Thomas Tuchel or Pochettino, I would choose Maurizio Pochettino. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.